this one's going to be my second whiskey of the morning because it is 1.30 a.m. This is from the uh, NHL Alumni Hockey Player Series. It is the second bottle of uh, the, this type that I am making a video about. It is the um, one-time release Dave Keon Alumni Whiskey Series. Um, it is from release 2019 to 2020 edition. Style well-rounded. Uh, grains, three grain, 45% alcohol by volume. 14 year old, four barrel, aged in bourbon, Speyside malt, Canadian and virgin oak barrels. The alumni, Canadian whiskey, 750 mils. So this one is named for Dave Keon. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to read the back of the label as soon as I have poured a as soon as I have poured a dram if I can get this thing open hopefully I have found the yeah I got the plastic thing off here it is yeah. good to have a knife this here has uh, got a real cork. Oh, good pop too. Makes the right sounds coming out of the bottle. What did this cost me? Okay, so it's $41.99. I'm going to get my little calculator here. Okay. 41.99 times 0.05 is equal to two dollars and ten cents uh, goods and services tax plus four point two dollars four dollars and twenty cents um, liquor tax plus point one that's ten cent bottle deposit plus the initial price of forty one ninety nine is equal to forty eight dollars and thirty nine cents out the door And 45% alcohol by volume might have some decent legs to it. Let's have a look. Ooh, it sheets right down. Sometimes that happens. Has it left us any traces? No real paths coming down. Oh, a couple there. Well, while I let that sit in the glass for a few minutes, I'm going to read what it says on the back here. Number 14, Hockey's Greatest Family. The Alumni Association and award-winning whiskey maker J.P. Weiser's I need more help. J.P. Weiser's honor the past by co-creating this premium Canadian whiskey. Proceeds received by the alumni are invested back into local hockey initiatives across the country while supporting the retired player community. This whiskey embodies the spirit of Dave Keon. The blend is unique to his playing style. It's his whiskey, but really it's in support of all the other players who 
battled the exhausting journey before and after, who endured broken bones and bruised bodies just to play those precious few games under the bright lights. AlumniWhiskeySeries.com, J.P. Weiser Distillery, Limited, Toronto, Ontario. Return for a refund where applicable. And uh, the ever-present international symbol for pregnancy. Yeah. Well, here we go. And for 48 bucks, you know. 750 mils, 45% alcohol by volume. This already smells quite smooth. I'm getting a bit of rye spice. I'm getting some corn sweetness. I'm getting some vanilla. Some caramel. Kind of a grassy note too. But that also could be corn husks. Corn husks and grassy note kind of intermingled. A little bit of rice spice. But there are no rough edges reaching out and grabbing you. There's nothing really sticky or graspy. There are no hooks, if that makes any sense. There's some sweetness. There's some rye spice, there's some grassiness, and that's mostly what I'm getting on the nose. On the palate then, let's see what this Dave Keon does. Oh, 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 this is very pleasant. At 45% alcohol by volume, it's just got the right amount of strength. There's more complexity on the palate than there is on the nose. I have to try that again. Oh wow, that is wonderful whiskey. Oh yes, corn sweetness, rye spice, a whole bunch of vanilla, toffee, caramel, butterscotch, nice, very, very nice, and a one-time release only, this stuff is fantastic. It is definitely worth every penny that I have paid for it. I'm going to add a little bit of water, maybe to tame it down because it is at 45% alcohol after all. But I am liking this so far. I very much enjoy the 
Marc Messier whiskey that I had about a month ago. This is nice. JP Weiser's uh, scored a goal with this one, that's for sure. Hmm. Dave Keon. Hmm. With water, there's a little less nose. There's still a lot of vanilla, rice spice, grassiness, corn sweetness. Oh, you won't go wrong with this one, let me tell you. This is a beautiful Canadian whiskey. Once again on the palate. Corn sweetness, rice spices, chocolate note. Chocolate milk, chocolate. Vanilla, delicious. This one, this is nice. Who would have thought Hockey Alumni Series? Nice. This is some really good Canadian whiskey and, you know, value for the money is really good. It is definitely a couple of steps up from your, you know, um, bottom shelf Canadian whiskey blend. This has a lot more going on. Smells better, tastes better. Oh, delicious whiskey. It keeps on going, too. Keeps on going with the caramel, butterscotch, vanilla. Oh, fabulous. Yes, very well-rounded. 45% alcohol by volume. I would definitely seek this one out. If you're into Canadian whiskey, this may just be the one. It's still available. I saw it on the shelf today. Or, should we say, before midnight. Yesterday. It will still be there when the store opens up in the morning. But, but this is pre-recorded, so, you know, that would be a couple weeks in the past. Ah, <sighs> nice. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this drown. This is a beauty. Cheers. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>